Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The first 10 days of the 2020s. Who could forget the first 10 days of the 2010s though? This is how it looked from space. A rare widespread snowfall across the country. That was caused by low pressure to the east of the country and a bitterly cold northeasterly wind with the jet stream diving well to the south of the UK. Now, as we ended the 2010s, very different weather patterns prevailed during the last few months. We've seen a powerful jet stream across the Atlantic, sending low after low after low into southern parts of the UK and a lot of wet weather, very saturated ground across parts of England and Wales at the moment. So if you're in one of those areas with saturated ground, you might be hoping for some different weather patterns for the start of 2020. And indeed, we do have very different weather patterns. We replace the low to the south with high pressure to the south and the jet stream taking much more of a northerly track on average during the next 10 days. That will bring more unsettled weather to northern and western Scotland, but much drier conditions further south. Occasionally, the jet stream will dip across the UK, bringing colder weather to northern parts and a bit more rainfall further south. But on the whole, high pressure looks likely to dominate across much of Europe and southern parts of Britain. What does that look like as far as the details concerned? Well, high pressure close to the UK on New Year's Eve means that for most as the clock strikes midnight, it will be dry, it will be settled, but there will be a lot of cloud cover, increasingly so overnight with some low cloud hugging the hills some mist and fog to watch out for for the start of New Year's Day. But for most, New Year's Day is looking dry and settled and there will be some sunshine, northeast England, northeast Scotland in particular. Temperatures not far from average for the time of year, but one or two spots will be milder, particularly where the wind is coming in from the south, moves over the higher ground and perhaps for northeast England, northeast Scotland, north Wales, where we see any brightness and the cloud breaking up. The wind increasing further into New Year's Day night, particularly windy later on into the northwest of the country ahead of this weather front. And Thursday starts off very unsettled for Scotland, Northern Ireland and eventually for western parts of England and Wales. Wet and windy, gales around northern and western coasts as well. Increasingly breezy elsewhere, but it takes all day for the rain to clear for the east of England. Once it does, Friday, after a wet start, turns colder and brighter in many places for most Friday is a sunny day, but there will be showers for the northern half of Scotland and for many places it will start to feel much colder as the jet stream points south and we'll see some of those showers in the north of Scotland turn on the wintry side. That's Friday and then the weekend starts off frosty but fine. However, through the weekend it's likely that weather fronts will return to northern parts of the country. Some uncertainty at the moment in terms of timings on these weather fronts. Once they arrive they will bring a return to milder air and breezier conditions as well as a lot more cloud. But southern half of the UK likely to stay largely dry whilst any rainfall mainly affecting northern and western Scotland and perhaps at times northern Ireland. Now, those uncertainties about how far this area of high pressure will extend north or how far it will sit further south continue into next week. I want to show you two likely scenarios for the start of next week. This is the most likely scenario with high pressure centred over Europe and a strong westerly airflow across the country with the wettest conditions for northern and western Scotland, northern Ireland and northwest England. But here's another possible scenario that some of the computer models are also indicating, with high pressure extending more widely across the UK and really only the far north and northwest unsettled, with many places dry, clear, and with some overnight frosts. What I suspect will happen throughout next week is that we'll see uh, both of these weather patterns alternate at times high pressure coming up and then sitting south, ebbing and flowing through the week. And what that generally means is that so it's a return to these kinds of weather patterns again. High pressure over the continent, the jet stream to the north and then dipping south and then drifting north again. And on the whole, that means that for the next 10 days and certainly into the start of 2020, it's looking much drier in the south compared to recent months. But the unsettled weather will return to northern and western Scotland in particular rain and wind. It will often be mild but of course where we get some clear skies where that high pressure tends to become more influential it will be frosty at times. So that's how the start of 2020 is looking very different to the start of 2010 and very different to the end of 2019. Of course for all the detail day in day out you can follow us on social media but for now from all of us here at the Met Office a very happy new year. Bye-bye.